こんばんは。Good evening.Tonight I'm drinking the sake called Kanbara. In English, they have a English titles, labels. It's called Bride of the Fox.、Uh, the rice, poly,、uh, this is a Junmai Ginjo style sake. And the rice polishing ratio is 50%. That means rice is polished down to、uh, 50%. And、uh, the rice used for this sake is called Gohyaku Mangoku.、Uh, my wife and I、uh, like sake made with this rice, Gohyaku Mangoku. So, this is definitely one of our favorite sake. <coughs> so, let's, let's try. Very rich, bold, yet somehow dry and crisp, very crisp, very crisp. And、uh, Ginjo style sake has this unique aroma, called, we call them Ginjo ka, Ginjo aroma. And I've, I've heard from many American customers that they said、uh, it's like a licorice flavor. So, people often understand this ginjo aroma like a licorice aroma.、Mm. So delicious. So, tonight, when I have a quality sake like this,、uh, I need to have quality food. It's like food and sake and sake and food. That's what we like to introduce to you.、Uh, because here in the United States, it seems like a bar or restaurant. It's like nothing in between. It's like when you go to a bar, it's like people are drinking but not eating. When you go to a restaurant, people are enjoying the food but not like hanging out. Having a great time, drink and shout and、uh, have fun. That's not what people do in this country. So, we are Tachinomiya,、uh, standing bar. So, it's drinking is the main thing. And we serve this food for you to enjoy drinking and have fun and relax. Tonight, I have a big eye tuna sashimi from New Zealand. So, what's sashimi? Sashimi is a slices of raw fish, raw meat. You know, I can pronounce L or R. So, to me, this guy is just impossible. So, what's the difference between sushi and sashimi? So, sushi in English somehow changed. The meaning has somehow changed. Sushi in English is, means raw. That's all I figured out. Sushi in Japanese is a food. Prepared with vinegar seasoned rice. So, sushi comes with the rice. Like, for example, like a popular sushi, nigiri sushi, like a shrimp, they are cooked. Eel, they are cooked. So, some people say, How can it be sushi? Well, sushi is with the rice. So, for drinking, 
when you go out to have some drinks, you don't want to get full. You don't want rice. But that makes you full, so you can't drink. And sashimi goes, pairs well with sake. So, how to eat sashimi? Here's wasabi. So, you need to find your perfect amount for yourself because everyone, everyone's preference is different. I usually use this much, put it on a slice, like so, and a little bit soy sauce, not too much. Don't, don't soak it, don't marinate, just a little bit. Mm. So uh, I prefer to serve wild caught fish over farmed fish. Uh, nothing against farmed, farmed industry, uh, but I prefer to use wild fish. And uh, I usually use bluefin tuna uh, from like North Carolina, Boston, Canada uh, is available for me to get it during winter time. Uh, then they, they, li they regulate, they limit the amount of the, the fish they can catch. So once they reach the limit, uh, the season is done. They cannot catch the wild bluefin tuna anymore. So probably next season would be would start from like September, uh, late August, uh, October maybe somewhere sometime around that time. So during this time, uh, only bluefin tuna available is a farmed one, mostly from Spain. Uh, at least for me, uh, we we are here in Kentucky. So now uh, I use uh, big white tuna, which is less fatty, uh, less flavor than bluefin tuna, but it's more fat, more flavor than yellowfin tuna. So I prefer using big white tuna uh, during this time. Uh, it's wild. The wild caught big white tuna is available throughout the year, all year long. So here's what it is. So a little bit wasabi on top. Don't dissolve. Now we're going to see. delicious by the way we had the wonderful customers tonight as always and uh, we had a great night and, uh, I hope you have fun uh, Kanpai thank you so much see you tomorrow good night